Take the lines are down. There's no helicopter. Of course, any a fool would fly in weather like this. What do you mean by that? I don't take it personally. Look, if you're wondering what to do about it, my suggestion is that uh, you spend the night. Well, let me, uh, let me reprise that. It would appear that you're here for the duration. Hmm? Now, I'm not about to lug the mattress down from upstairs. And no matter how much you plead and grovel, I am not about to invite you upstairs. However, what I will, what I will do, what I will do is make you a sumptuous bed right here on the sofa. Eh? How does that sound? Oh, come on, I, I hate it. I hate it when you thank me. <laughs> and look, it's the least I can do. I mean, you, you, you did all that for me uh, when I had the sniffles and stuff like that. I mean, it's time for me to look out for you. This is all wrong. This isn't the way it's supposed to be. Like what's supposed to be? You being gallant out of character. Oh. Now that hurts. Well, forgive me, but that isn't the way I planned on spending the night. Well, does the snow drift sound any better? I may be stuffed into the side of a mountain, hmm? Okay, so you're being gracious, and I'm being childish. Well, no one likes to be inconvenienced. Well, you don't seem to mind. I'm not inconvenienced. I hate it. No, no makeup, no clothing, oh, wait a minute, no wait, dental wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Maybe we've got something here. Yeah, what about this? Look, hey, look, it's you. It's, it's even kind of red. Like your complexion. Look, that's great. That's perfect. And I even have upstairs a new toothbrush in the medicine cabinet. It's yours. Mm. Soft bristles. Mm. Yeah. Lucky me. Keep that door locked. You awake? Yeah. Are you? Of course I am stupid, otherwise I wouldn't be talking to you. You want any company? Sure. Come on down. All I've been doing is tossing and turning anyway. Well, maybe we can uh, do something about that with a uh, shot of brandy. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, listen to that wind. Isn't there something about a, a song about a weather and it's frightful and it's miserable and it's outside and stuff like that? <laughs> it goes, as the fire is so delightful. Right. Not a bad that sounds fire. good enough. <laughs> Shame to waste. Mm. Tell me about him. Who? The my darling who sends you the flowers. Oh. His name is Paul. Hmm? Nice name. He's a nice man. Yeah. How's he earn his daily crust? Well, he spends most of his time in the dirt. Oh, he's a copper. <laughs> He's an archaeologist. Oh. He's away digging at the moment. He's very bright. Is it serious? Well, it's about as serious as any long-distance romance can be. I haven't seen him in about six months. Well, that can't be terribly satisfying. I mean, the guy can't be half as bright as you tell me he is. I mean, if he was, he wouldn't leave someone like you sitting around while he goes off to play in the dirt. What about you? Have you found any nice lady for your life? I haven't even found a not-so-nice lady. I don't particularly want one. 
At the moment. Nice or otherwise. Look at that. No. Really doesn't look like it's about to stop, does it? You know, <clears throat> I hope your reputation isn't going to suffer too much if you're stuck here with me for a few days. There's not much I can do about that now, anyway. I don't mind. As long as you have enough wine and candles to see us through. Well. Even if we run out of those, we still have the staples like Vegemite and crackers. Oh, if my reputation's not ruined, my stomach will be. 